everybody, it's Robin. I'm here with the doctor. Hello, Bridges! Woohoo! It is springtime, doctor! Spring fever! <laughs> <laughs> and I started my tutorial out with Dazzle, Dazzle Dries, Peacefully Me, which is a oh, French pink, pink. Mm -hmm. and pink, oh, sorry, White Tips by Wet n Wild. And I have this. Is this. Awesome. Wildflowers has gel, right? And so this gel is, excuse me, doctor, um, yellow. So it comes out like this. It's very thin and, and gooey like that. And so it looks like honey. So we're going to do honeybees. Either honey or an infection. Oh, something. Depends on what. Your, Depends uh, on your angle. Yeah. But you know what, though, is that it Or looks, your occupation, because. You know, <laughs> you know what this would be beautiful? This would make anything look vintage. Oh, if I you love put vintage. it over the top of it, it would make like a like a old. It would give it a sepia tone. That's awesome. I love vintage. Yeah, and you know what? If you put a little bit of red in there, that would even be better. But okay, so we're gonna start with this. Okay, so I have my brush, RobinMosesNailArt.com. It's called the Wand. I use it for all of my tutorials. Now I'm gonna go in here just like this and just pick up a little bit on the end of my brush. Then I'm gonna go across this French manicure. Did you said that was wet, wet and wild, Robin? The, this um, no, gel? that's that's uh, wildflowers. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go across the top of the French white, and then do the drips like this, as if the honey is dripping off of the French manicure. Ooh. And like it just that. and it shows up as honey. So so like you know what I mean. You don't have to do any extra work. And and I really liked it. I know she wanted to do honeybees for spring, and we've done honeybees a few times. And nobody really uh, has shown me that you guys have tried it. Not a lot. So hopefully you guys will try this and show me because this is fun and it's very springy. It's awesome. So easy to do. And so no matter easy. how many times I've had a honeybee, I always ask her. Aww. For a honeybee, I love it. Yes, because you're my honey. Oh, honey. Uh, you're sweet. Well, <laughs> gotta say that to your uh, daughter, like your future daughter in law. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, here we go. You're superficial. Oh, oh yeah. I'm superficial. <laughs> So, anyways, this this uh, this stuff you have to dry under a light. So, if you don't have a light and you don't have gel and all that stuff, oh, I'm sorry. Also, before, let me let me teach. Okay, um, after I put the the white tips with uh, Wet and Wild, I went over with a matte top coat. That way, it's all mattified, and then the the gel is nice and shiny. And so, when I put the gel in the light, it's going to dry, and so it's going to dry shiny over the mat. So it's going to stay like this when it's finished. And you can do this the same way if you top coat with the mat and then you go back and you use clear nail polish. Let me show you. I'm going to show you how to do it with plain polish. You, you pour some clear polish out, but any kind of yellow, and you mix it with the clear. And of course I got it too, I got too much on there. But I just want to show you, I'm not going to use this. But you can take yellow nail polish, mix it with the clear like that, mm. and, and you have the same basic thing. And, and both work, and both are great. So, anyways, I'm going to finish that out and meet you back. Hi, Compassionista, and hi, Zoe. Hello. Okay, here we go. So, I've made two black circles here, and I'm going to fill in the head yellow real quick. And the body like this. Okay, that's the basic. I'm going to get up to the edges closer as it dries, but my client's here. Let me go that and that. And <laughs> I'm gonna make him with the feet. You can you can uh, do yours however you want. Okay, there we go. And hands. I'm gonna do a hand like this. Makes me want to almost sing Blake Shelton's Honeybee song. 
Okay, I have to wait to put the lines on that uh, right now because it's still wet, but I'm gonna put a little stick into his Don't hand. Say butt. Oh, bitch. oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I'm trying to do a little but honey bee uh, thing or, uh, with honey on it. Okay, there's that. Okay, so there's that. So he has that thing that you put in the honey. I'll have to wait for that to dry a little bit more. But while I'm waiting, I'm going to put some top coat out on my palette again. It's already dried up. Dang, dazzle dry and you're drying fast capabilities. <laughs> then I will go in and just put a little bit of top coat into the... the wings so it just looks a little shiny and a little bit 3d it's cute and um, when this dries I'm gonna put all the extras on there and then cover this thing with gel so it'll have the same honey gel and it's gonna be sliding down into there and I'll finish that out and I'll show you the end result um, if you have any problems with doing bees I have other bee designs so just search Robin Moses bees or Robin Moses spring bee <laughs> and you can find them Okay, so here is the end result. I top, I don't know what I was thinking when I put the clear coat on there and then top coat, yeah, I had top coated the bee with matte and then of course I put the, the, the gel coming down off of his little thing and then I have the other bee waving. And um, anyways, I hope you guys try these. They are very cute and very unique and still fun. Very springy. And springy, cause spring has sprung, Bridges. <laughs> Anyways, look at me, Clean, cleaning on film. Okay, here we go. So anyways, I will see you back with more. These will be in my cartoon playlist and in my spring playlist. So if you try them, hashtag me Robin Moses nail, no, inspired by Robin Moses if you try them so I can see them and get brushes at robinmosesnailart.com. Anyways, see you back with more. Bye everyone. Happy spring, bridges. Whoop, whoop.